All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Raka. Kodash. All right, what I said in the Hebrew was all praises to the Father Yahweh. All right, what I said first was bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai three times. All praises to the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. And let me give double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. All right, Shalom. Shal so, Lucky, I'm just walking a little out of breath. And uh, wanted to be in the spirit. I had a, a topic in mind. And that topic is about truth. I believe I titled it um, The Understanding of Truth. Maybe I titled it that The Understanding of Truth. All right? Because maybe not everyone know the understanding of truth. You know, you got a lot of Israelites. That say they in the truth, but are they really? You know? Are they really in the truth? Just because they say they in the truth. Do they speak the truth when it comes to the scriptures and bringing out the word which our Lord have given us through prophecy? Uh, bear with me and let me get past this highway so I'll be right back. Okay, so like I was saying, you know, the understanding of truth. There's a lot of different Israel like camps out there, and a lot of them say they're in the truth, but do they speak the truth? Now, what is truth? We're gonna get a quick definition, all right, of truth. So this is the the uh, Google truth, the quality or state of being true that which is true or in accordance with facts or reality it says a fact or belief that is accepted as true so we're going to read it again this is truth the quality or state of being true all right the quality or state of being true it says that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. So what is facts? Facts is truth. If that's reality, then, and if that's facts, then that's the truth. So now truth, you know, everybody in this world today, you know, with Esau's and his ideologies out there, you know, that he pushed, for all this confusion, you know, because we are in the land of confusion, which is Babylon the Great for us brothers who are here in Babylon. You have a lot of confusion out here and you got your fake woke that they call their understanding of truth, you know, what they believe. But there's only one truth, all right? And not everybody's given the truth, all right? Or could walk in the truth. We say we have the truth here, brothers, us brothers, all right, in Great Millstone, start with our head apostles and bishops, brothers on down, because our truth is Yahweh Shai, all right? And according to his gospel and doctrine, we teach according to what he taught his disciples, his men. So his disciples, which disciples is another word for discipline, that these men will go spread the gospel to the rest of the Lord's sheep, which are Israelites and only Israelites. All right. I have to say that because you have, um, you know, different understandings, confusions and lies that they spew 
you know, in the madness of these churches, especially through Christianity, that God is, you know, for everybody. He chose one people, all right, and favored, the, favored those people. And even scriptures say he has made them special to be above all the rest of the nations. So those is his people. When it says in Matthews 1 and, uh, 1 and 21, it said, she shall bring forth a son, which is Mary, Yahweh's mother, all right, and she was impregnated by her husband Joseph through, her, through his seed, okay? That it said, she shall bring forth a son and he shall save his people, all right? Showing you that he's for his people. Now, what was Yahweh Shai when he was here on the earth as Yahweh Shai? He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That would be his nationality and his culture, all right? His language will also be Hebrew because that's culture, okay? Everybody today in this world, different nations or let me say different tribes of Israel have their own sort of culture and language, you know? So we know different in the ancient times when we all knew we were Israelites, we had our own culture and our own language and customs. Yahweh was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, okay? So going back to the word truth, it says the quality or state of being true. The quality, I'm gonna look up quality real quick, right? And this shouldn't be a long lesson. I'm just doing this in the spirit. Lord's willing through the Holy Spirit and uh, see what we can get from out of it. It was a thought. I wanted to be in the spirit as I did this walk. So I'll just try to make a lesson out of it, Lord's willing, and hopefully it's edifying. You know, it was just a thought. So I jumped on it. So quality, uh, this is the Collins English. The quality of something is how good or bad it is, all right? The quality of something is how good or bad it is. So it says back to truth, the truth, the quality or state of being true. And the truth can either hurt or the truth can either be love, all right? It can be hate and it could be love. It could be joyful, it could be hurtful. You know, there's a saying in the world where they say truth hurts, all right? And that means a person that's living their life in the customs of lies, or let me say the ways of men, the ways of man, all right? Let me say an Israelite, right? A so-called uh, Negro, Latino, so-called Native American Indian, all right? A so-called West Indian, a, a so-called uh, Mexican, right? The Israelites. Let me say, if one is walking and carrying himself of the world, that's an Israelite, but not calling himself an Israelite and take on the customs of the ways of the heathen, and he find out truth, it's gonna either, you know, if if he's, let me say, if his mind, if the Lord is with him, he will accept the truth. And he will abide by the truth, obey by the truth. If he don't accept the truth, then he will hate the truth. And he will point the finger and say, I don't like those guys because of what they're saying and what they're talking about. All right? So truth, the truth, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, all right, giving us this word. For us to live by and to be saved by which is through the act of faith which faith is a gift right truth it says the quality or state of being true quality is the quality of something uh is how good or bad it is so the truth can be bad good uh joyful hurtsome all right or hurtful to anyone now for the elect of the Lord, the Lord's chosen, it's gonna be a blessing, joyful, you know? It's gonna be uh, helpful, all right? It's gonna be very much needed 
for salvation. Because that's what really brings salvation, the truth. Lies not going to bring salvation. Lies bring, you know, death. All right? Because our Heavenly Father who, who governs the universe is all about truth. And that's what he takes delight in. And righteousness, not wickedness. So we have a righteous power that we worship. There's a righteous power who governs the universe. Not a wicked power. Even though he created wicked, he brought forth the balance. So you got to have the understanding of truth. All right, which is the word. All right, Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Dash, man. And not everybody can have the truth because it's not given to everybody on this side. All right. So it says that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. Now, let me get the word faith real quick because it said fact. And that made me think of Hebrews. Let me stop for a second. That made me think of Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. So it says faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So the Lord gave us the word and the accounts written our records as the substance right as some substance even though it's through the spirit as well so lock it at you know this part they got everybody out here but anyway he gave us and wrote down the records the men back in the ancient times to collect these records and to keep them in the remembrance for us so that we will learn today as we come back all right reincarnation re means back in Incarnation means flesh because the Most High has an end, all right, a beginning and an end of an age. So when we come back, we will continue in what we had learned, all right, in the ancient times. So that's why these records were so important, all right. It's inspiring, it's to increase our faith for us to understand the word. You know, how could you know the future if you don't recognize your past, okay? That's why it's very important to know who you is. So understanding truth, right? So it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now faith, all right, faith is a gift. Ephesians 2 and 8, you always quote it, quote it, all right? Faith is a gift from the Most High, all right? And it says, faith is the substance of things hoped for. We hope what? In Yahweh Shai's return, all right? Who the world ignorantly calls J.C., all right, and now you got this, you know, IUIC. Uh, I believe now they're teaching. I guess I'm guessing Yahweh Shah is, is, a, is the father now. So you know, I was watching her earlier uh, Apostle Tahar's video, and he was disgusted with what he heard. So I know more videos gonna come out, so I can see it for myself and hear what the man is saying. But. This is why it's important to understand truth, you know? Understand truth. Now, before me right now that you can't see, you got a gay couple. Damn, I said gay. <laughs> right now, before me, you have a, um, a mo, a, you have mo behavior, all right? You have a woman and another woman, and one is acting like a man, and the other is supposed to be the female. She got a hand on her ass. I'm only saying this because I'm speaking about truth. That's a lie, man. That relations is a lie. So, but that's what's being taught here. So bear with me one second. Let me uh, get past. All right. All right. So anyway, right, let's get back. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so evidence is anonymous with facts and through our faith the lord gave us evidence all right and that's why it's not that's why everybody can't understand this truth they can't grasp or see the vision that we see because the lord haven't given them the gift of faith so they can say that's not facts it's facts to us all right it's evidence to us and it's evidence through the gift of faith that the Lord gave us but for them 
they would deny because they would say that's they you know they're carnal minded matter of fact scriptures say can a natural man a natural man can't receive the, the spirit of the most high roughly paraphrasing all right he can't receive those things because he only understands flesh and what flesh can feel see and touch and taste you know they don't have that spirit they don't have that vision you know so it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen right for by it the elders obtained a good report all right through our elders apostles right today's age the apostles elders in their age their time and season going all the way back to our foreparents in the ancient times which is biblical records man they obtained a good report that's why these things were written down and you got Edomites uh, scholars you want to call them archaeologists marineologists whatever you call them these experts these men that got all the time in the world all the money in the world and they can go freely looking for evidence to prove the scriptures and they have found plenty of evidence that proves all right the word of the most high all right the bible okay they have found many evidence look at the uh the uh the ship or oh, excuse me the uh boat right ship I guess want to call it noah's ark found on mount Ararat. all right and there's plenty other things you know they found what they will say the red sea when um moses was a godhead over the israelites chosen by the most high to deliver the israelites out of the time of egypt and they said they found the chariots under the waters you know of those pharaohs of pharaoh's men being destroyed you know so it's a lot of evidence to get all right even certain art artifacts of uh i think uh what was the temple you know so anyway i can't think everything offhand but what i just freshly just saw all right so you brothers and you know you sisters that watch and study you know watch videos and um, you know the, the elect know and if you brothers got any comments or excuse me precepts for the comments leave them man all right i appreciate it so anyway let me get back to the, the, the uh, definition of truth right that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality and this is our reality all right being a man of the lord you know, know doing the works going on the highways and byways you know jokers look at us like we're crazy we're bums they call us you know calls all, all sorts of names but we look at it as our reality we see yahweh shy cracking those clouds and coming back all right to deliver us so this is our reality you know it's not their reality their reality is the bread and circus their reality is you know the basketball the football you know they take more pleasure in those things all right than they would serving the lord because they don't see him you know they take pleasure in making a lot of money jake out here trying to get the bag you know six figures you know they take pleasure in working out physique the body so they can have a lot of women so they can look good smell good and get a lot of women women go out here and you know the reality they have and their mindset is to get a bigger butt it's all about the ass they go buy one then they look like a plastic doll looking crazy you know destroying themselves the world will destroy you that's micah 2 and 10 it said it shall lead to a sore destruction man you know but our reality is the bible our reality is this truth and none of you devils gonna take that from us man not you vocab all right and none of you cronies you other peons and Christianity going to take the faith from the Lord, the Lord's elect that believe in him. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, all right, you can't pluck them out of his hands or neither the father's hands. He said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. OK, so this is the understanding the truth. All right. If you speak in the truth, as the scriptures say, they will speak according to the word. And, the, and it says uh, if they speak. I forgot the book chapter verse but it's i'm gonna quote it it says if they speak not according to the word it is because it is no light in them 
that light is Yahawashai. Yahawashai is the truth. And we're going to grab a few precepts on that too. All right. So if they don't speak according to Yahawashai's word that he gave us, the disciples, his men, all right, to be apostles, to be sent out, or to be prophets, to, to, to speak before and, and speak of prophecy, right, to exhort his name, the father name, the son name, you know, in the earth, and prepare themselves, you know, for that marriage, then they're not of the Lord's elect. They're not of the Lord. So how are they speaking truth? All right. Another thing is this too, is that, you know, you can't speak. You got some jokers that will speak truth mixed with lies. If it's mixed with lies, it's not of the truth. This is why another understanding, you know, without, if you don't have pride or the ego issues, you will understand and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, why our apostles, bishops, elders, brothers on down say here in Great Millstone we have 100% truth. Just another reason. Because we know the word to be true and we give the word as it was taught to us, all right, from above, all right? Not mixed with lies. And if any mistakes or any misunderstanding, it will be corrected ASAP, you know? So it's not an ego thing. It's not a pride thing. It's not about who to camp. You know that you know supposed to be the 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 deepest in the scriptures or the camp that's you know fancying themselves to make so much money that's these other camps because they're not of the truth they have this idea that they're going to be the number one camp in the world and they're doing the works of the lord and the lord dealing with them no satan dealing with them if they're not speaking according to the word it is because it is no light in them so to remix the doctrine, change the gospel to the likings of them because they took a 501 or they sort of wrote their name in a blood contract with the devil in the back closet, in a secret room, performing rituals, you know, paying allegiance to his, uh, you know, his masters and then having the rest, you know, what's the scripture say? They, 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 um, they preach for hire. I ain't getting it in so long. One of the church scriptures we used to bring out back then. They teach for hire, you know, and they get their foundation and then they deceive the rest of the, their congregation. So anyway, moving on, it says a fact or belief that is accepted as truth. And that's what we have. Our belief in Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. All right, to be true. Now, what's going to ultimately where right now you can see it and we know it but ultimately for the world to know and to seal it in their minds all right it's when the lord's prophecies come to pass and then as the scriptures say there you're going to know there was a prophet among you which there were many prophets today in this last day and this last uh i'm gonna say minutes or hours of esau's age all right the end of his world all right, the world gonna know when Yahweh shall return that those was the men that everybody despised. It tells you that in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. All right, they was how was they number among the saints, as the scriptures say. You know, we wearied ourselves in uh, wickedness and have not known the way of the Lord. All right, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, man, it's a good read. All right, which is also prophecy. So now. Let me try to speed this thing up. Might be a 30 minute clip, but hopefully you edify, you get something from the lesson that builds upon your faith toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I got John chapter 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All right? So Yahweh Shai is what? He said, I am the way. He's the direction, the instruction, right? And the direction, the path. It says the truth, right? Which is the facts. He is the evidence, <laughs> right? Through our faith that he gave us in his absence, right? It says, and the life. What life you should live, man. What life you have to, you know, man yourself in. To be in that body of Yahweh Shai, man. This is why we always preach 
might sound boring to those but hey we're gonna keep saying the same song man all right and we always preach uh put on yahweh shot put on the elect all right you know and uh it tells us in second peter chapter three um i think three and ten on down how it says what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. all right by well, shimmy Yahweh shy and i'm roughly paraphrasing that but that's a good read as well because it goes into the destruction but it also tells us the instructions on how we have to be you can't be a ninja in this thing all right you can't be no fucking ratchet ass hoe in this thing all right you went from a ratchet hoe to a sister you went from a ninja to a brother you are not gonna make it the lord is going to destroy you men and you wicked women all right you know so it's all it is it, it is about behavior conduct okay it's about also doing the word you know not just being a hero but a doer of the word so understanding truth you know simple man it's not rocket science it's not that deep maybe it is for those that can't get it but for the ones that get it which is hopefully the lord's elect all right the elect are gonna get it and it's really that simple all right the water yahweh bashim yahweh shah so it says yahweh shah saying to him i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me which that scripture there is also another cut you know on iurc you know nate coming coming to find out you know if he's teaching that um yahweh shai is the father as well he's going off way off because yahweh shai made it clear that there's no one good but the father all right and he prayed unto the father he cried unto the father in his last hour you know he wasn't speaking of himself so there's a great entity that governs the universe that empowered you know him which he empowered us all right because we're brothers so really yahweh empowered all of us but it was an order thing all right a righteous order you know respectfully you know the water yahweh bar shimmy i was shot for this understanding it says john 8 john 8 and 32 it says and you know and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free now that's scripture man and people say this in the world you know the truth shall make you free that's right all right because when we woke up to this thing that we were israelites and to know the lord's true name and the father's name as well it truly comforted our minds it gave us a peace of mind now it gave us a sense of joy and hope that look man this is not it this ain't it man the scriptures say he that is in trouble come rest with us your mind is troubled because you see the condition of the world you're looking at your people you know especially jake you know i'm of the tribe of judah and i look at the tribe of judah as a piece of shit because that's what they are man you know they're not judites they niggas man all right calling themselves black and i'm sorry i, I mean i'm not sorry but it's just the truth man the shitty as hell the worst tribe of all the tribes today show shitty man and the women make it even worse you know the men ain't no good from their attitudes and behaviors and how everybody's so cutthroat you know you know you look at the northern kingdom they helpful they stick together to a degree i know they're wicked too you know the ones that's not in the truth of course right because it's brothers in this truth but even the tribe itself is gone because they in the world but at least the northern kingdom got a little more decency and courtesy and respect for one another than the tribe of judah man all right so let me read that scripture again and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so it makes you free in your mind you know you feel thankful now that you have the understanding and the lord chose you what well, he called you all right which we hope to be chosen scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure so now that you got this truth and you were called give diligence all right diligence to what to the truth right because you got the truth 
give diligence to make your calling and election sure all right if i was called i'm gonna give diligence for my election for me being elected right selected elected all right being chosen i'm gonna make it sure if i can to the best of my ability hopefully all right that i that i'm of the lord's elect that's how the mindset of a of the lord's elect will have man them attributes and that mind mind frame you know if you if you get my understanding my drift so it says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so what is truth understanding truth all right not every israelite camp got the truth how you identify the truth okay what's the prophecy say what's the lord's name what's the father's name all right you know, when they stop speaking, they don't speak according to the right doctrine, they don't got the truth. Do that mean that they're gonna be destroyed? Well, if they don't repent, they will be. But do some of them have a chance to repent? Yes, they do, all right? But if they sold out, oh, you can count that as a loss, a loss, all right? And they're gonna be destroyed, signing contracts, all right? And deceiving the Lord's people, you know, purposely teaching lies, that ass is grass. You know, but those that's in that congregation maybe have learned of lies. Maybe the Lord will have mercy in the end and they actually get the truth. But the man that's teaching lies, oh, he's he's in a, a, a hot seat, man. You don't want to be that man in that hot seat, man. That's purposely teaching lies, man, because you gambling with death, you know. So anyway, this is the book of John chapter 17. Nope. So this is John 16 and 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear and shall that that shall he speak and he will show you things to come all right I'm gonna say Yahweh and then through the Holy Spirit okay so we got the truth because we have the Holy Spirit with us all right through the father and the son all right that the holy spirit dwell with us so that we have the truth now the holy spirit is knowing all things of the scriptures this don't mean we know all things of the earth and all of the secrets under the earth and all the different animals the lord have we don't know those things but all we know is the gospel which was given to us the word the prophecies so that we could be saved everything else is going to come in the kingdom when we officially gods, all right? When our bodies are changed, all right? To be gods and we're gonna live forever. And there's gonna be no more death. You know, that's another thing. You got different Israelite camps out here that's saying that we're gonna die in the kingdom. And that doesn't even make sense. When the Lord said we shall never cry or sorrow anymore. You know, you got this guy, Captain Tazariak in ISUPK telling a, a church, he had a debate he telling them that we're going to die in the kingdom. This man is out of his mind. So, you know, until he repents, he's a false prophet, man. And that's wicked, man. What type of hope is that? You know, the Lord gave us hope, gave us faith, you know, that we will have everlasting life, man. You know, which, which man, you think about the, the disciples that, you know, in, in the time they walked with Yahweh Shai and they gave up their children to go walk with Yahweh Shai, their wives, you know, their whole life. And Yahweh Shai said, whatever you lose, you shall have a hundredfold in the kingdom, man. You know, you're gonna enjoy it in the kingdom. The kingdom is far better than this age. Our age is coming. Second Ezra 6, man. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. So, so we, we just getting started. By the prophets prophesizing, the Lord have us prophesizing again for this last time before the destruction and the great salvation. The, the, the Israelites, look, the Jacob's kingdom just getting started. You know, if you want to say, right? So let me read it again. And you should, um, how be it when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come and also through the Holy Spirit right you know it's gonna activate spiritual powers and brothers and that's one that's another part that we haven't achieved just yet on that level now 
we have a form of it by being able to go in and out the scriptures to edify to heal you know of, of the uh, heal by the word give them this peace of mind uh peace understanding from the lord and you can heal someone that way you know giving them the right advice and the right instructions on what to do to be healed by Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai. But it's gonna come a point in time when the Holy Spirit is gonna activate spiritual powers and brothers gonna be like X-Men, all right? Or the Avengers, Marvel Comics, man. And jokers laugh at that. You got Israelite cans that'll laugh at that. And this is biblical, which happened in the past. You had one body in uh, Dallas, it's called one body in Dallas. They used to be called one body in Yahawashai. And that fool, which he fell out, the head leader over there, he said that Yahweh Shai ain't riding back in no chariot. All right, we he ain't had, he ain't never had spiritual powers, you know. So the understanding the truth. Uh, I think that's about it. I do have a few more precepts, but I'm thinking about the time, how much time I just spent. All right, this is John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thou truth. Thy word is truth. All right, Yahweh Bashim, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. All right, Psalms 145 and 18. Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. You heard? All that call upon him in truth. We're not going to say the name of the Lord and use the word Christ and Jesus. No, we're going to tell you his true name. We're not going to say those things that's not true. We're, gonna, we're not going to set forth that vibration in the earth, you know, of serving the Lord in the ways that the heathens taught you. We have to give you the truth. We serve the Lord in truth. All right? Not lies, man. And if we had to say those names, we would quickly correct it and let you know that's not the name of the Lord. All right? So that you would have understanding because... The, name of, the names of the Lord is very important. All right. Scriptures say the uh, name of the Lord is a strong, it's a strong tower. The righteous run into it and safe. Roughly paraphrasing. And there's plenty of other scriptures. The scriptures say in Apocrypha, the elect shall praise his holy name. You know, them the two I can think off the rip. All right. So I'm going I'm to leave it with that. I hope you were edified. All right. The understanding of truth. You know, and... The understanding the truth. Yeah, that's that's the topic. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.